Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create custom shortcuts in SQL Server Management Studio. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here we have open SSMS and think about a scenario. Every time I need to run sp underscore who to, I have to type this and then execute. I would like to create some shortcut, maybe control F4 or uh, control uh, 4 or maybe alt 5. So I would like to create some shortcut by pressing that I would like to run this store procedure. Now I have another store procedure that I run uh, like 100 times in a day and I would like to create shortcut for that one as well. This is in sales database and uh, the store procedure name is uh, usp underscore total sale this is uh, this is user store procedure now how we can create the shortcuts let's go to the tools and go to the options and here we will be going to the environment and then we will be going to the keyboard once we are there we will be clicking on query shortcuts and you see that there are already some shortcuts available for us now as we would like to create a new shortcut for sp underscore who to we are going to go ahead and use uh, control plus three sp underscore who to and if you notice here i'm not including any database or any schema for this uh, store procedure because this is system store procedure this can run on any scope uh, uh, even uh, you are in a different uh, database uh, maybe sales database this will run just fine now for other uh, store procedures such as the uh, USP underscore total sale, uh, if I will just type uh, uh, dbo dot USP dot total sale, okay, it will work, but the scope has to be sales for the query window. Uh, if uh, I want to run from any uh, anywhere, uh, so I, it is good idea to provide fully qualified. Uh, uh, name for this uh, store procedure so let's go ahead and provide the database name so we don't have to worry what is the scope of the uh, window or query window is so we can run from any query window by pressing control 4 now we are done here and let's go ahead and give a try close this one now let's open a new window and as I said that control plus 3 was uh, sp underscore who uh, sp who 2 so you can see that uh, it ran successfully now if i will press the control f uh, control 4 our usp uh, total sales store procedure will run and you see that scope is sales here let's say if we would like to change the scope to the master or we are in any other scope let's say click here on the system database and a new query now the scope of this query window is a master database if i will press the control 4 it will just work fine so because we have provided the fully qualified name so with that has database name schema name and the store procedure name so thanks very much and i hope whenever you are using these different store procedures those can be system store procedure or user store procedures and you are using so many time and these shortcuts can help you know and you can save some time on that Thanks very much and I will see you guys in the next video.